Don't worry about this one as quickly as possible. Hand it to Sano. Technically, there's not an awful lot I can say about this one. Uh, well, it will take a bit of practice. I mean, it is difficult. But, you know, anybody could have lost on this, you know, even if it was a 14-year-old boy. Anyway, uh, what are we going to give it? Uh, what, 85%? No, it is better than that. It's a good game. 90%. 90 sounds good to me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs> Leslie, will you clean this place properly? It's disgusting. Oh, uh, do you want to hear one of my poems? I'd rather set fire to my bloomers, perhaps. Oh, Barry Barry, on the wall. Who is the greatest games player of them all? Not you. Needs a bit of work, I think. Do you want another big boy, brilliant batting baboon boy? No, please. I was raised by Ewoks, who are peace-loving creatures. Yeah, it does. Anything I can do for your home? Just, just, just my usual, Charlene. Ooh, how about some pizzas, Patty? Pepperoni, stagioni, quattroformaggio, marinara, all with extra toppings, of course. Buns, trifles, sweets, oh, and a crate of one hundred and thousands. Yes, that all uh, seems to be in order. Oh, going off to play a game or something? No, I have a television company to run, woman. Mistress. Hello, Leslie. Here's a joke. What have Barry and a beached whale got in common? Well, apart from the obvious, they both can't play video games. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to record games, mistress? Three, two, one. Cue. Hello, viewers. If you want to win, then you've come to the right place. Hope you're watching, Barry. OK, let's log on to the Barry net and see who's up for some personal tuition. Hi again, mistress. I want to have your babies. Do you have a question? Yes. Will you marry me? Another question. Um, have you got a level select sheet for Street of Rage 3 on the Mega Drive? Huh? I certainly have. On the menu screen, move to battle and then press and hold down up and B. Push start while these are held and you'll find a new option on the options menu. Stage select. Believe it or not, this is a stage select. Fantastic. Fantastic. Is there a cheat that lets you play as a kangaroo? Bizarrely enough, there is. Hold up and B on the title screen, then press start. You can now play as Roo the Kangaroo, complete with kangaroo punches, tail spins, and a whole host of fantastic kangaroo moves. How? <laughs> has your lust for cheats been satisfied, caller? Yes, it has, but my love for you burns as brightly as ever. Look, I brought you a plant. Gee, shucks. I have to go, viewers. Me and my friend need, need to practice. See you in a bit. Up. Oh, you're watching one of your winning performances from last series. Oh, the way we were, right? And what's it got to do with you anyway, mule kid? Hanging around me like a bad smell. Just give me the food and get out, eh? I've got a lot of management type stuff to do. Well, look, if you ever need to come to someone to talk about your losing problem, then you can come to me. I'm always there for you with a smile and a grin. And another fat lip if you don't scram. Scram! Good evening, I'm Roger Ross, and this is BNN, filling primetime Barry full of the news you need when you need it. The top stories tonight. This month sees the launch of Nintendo's Super Game Boy, a device to enable existing Game Boy games to be played on the big screen through your Super Nintendo. The Super Game Boy also allows you to change colors, place decorative borders around the screen, and even design your own surrounds. Heralded by Nintendo as a technology breakthrough, the Super Game Boy is now on sale at £50. And this just in from our American correspondent, Bert Puttocks. The latest in LucasArts' long line of Star Wars licenses is Dark Forces. Not a million light years away from the PC classic Doom, Dark Forces is penciled in for a January 95 release. 
Clay Fighters 2 Judgment Day is the wittily named sequel to last year's top comedy action beat em up. Instead of blood and guts, Clay Fighters 2 offers wholesome fun for all the family. And that's the way the world looks tonight on BNN. Up next, travel news with Vanessa on the BNN Chopper. Come here, let me have a good look at you. You are a genius. You're Alan Titchmarsh, Gloria Hannaford, and Terence Nutkin, all rolled in Shut up. Ow. Excuse me. Only Barry and I allowed to hit Leslie. Yeah. Shut it, Leslie. <sighs> now, please, can we discuss the Barry situation? Crisis meeting call to order. Calling Brother Freebie. Well, well, things are getting really serious. I mean, the kids, they're laughing at Barry. Oh, I see. I get the picture. You're gloating over my defeat, aren't you, eh? Yes, yes. No, no. Well, you needn't bother. I've had a long think about this. The humiliation of losing is too hard for me to bear. Coupled with the responsibility of running a television programme, I've come to a decision. I'm going to resign. No! Is this the end of Barry? And the last ever BTV? What can possibly happen next? All will become clear after these commercial messages. And a tea time Kelly has decided to quit. And now, stay tuned as BDB continues. Oh, it's so warm and lovely in here in my den, away from the uncaring and unforgiving world. But what about Barry? What am I to do? If he doesn't come back, I'll go to Batsy Dog's home for sure. Please help me, Percy. Tell me what to do. Get Barry back. That's what to do. Or me and you are in the pool. Oh, that was a very nice rhyme. You're right, you know. I've got to get Barry back. I have the technology. I can rebuild him. Now, you stay here. I'll go and get Barry. Um, oh, here's a slipper to play with. It was never like this with Matthew Corbett. Dear Violet Blade, if you give me a password for the Lost Vikings, then I will kiss you. No thanks, love. I'm not that kind of guy. I hate Vikings. Dandy pirates should rule the oceans, not men with big horns. But here's a password for you anyway. BBLS. That gets you to level 10. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo, Raggedy, I want to get tooled up on skitching on the Mega Drive. No, I'm not dissing you, man. That is a secret for in the skitching cheat mode. On the warning screen, press B, A, down A, start and start. You should hear a smashing sound, then enter fresh as you're cold and you've got yourself a bat, whip, stumble to better opponents with Hey, but don't be bringing them down to my next party. Door security will be friendly, but firm. Thanks, Ragga. You're the greatest. You make Barry look like a girl. Hey. Big boy, don't go. I have a plan. Let's see, Leslie. Let's recap. I lost the game. That's bad. I lost my first ever game of the season. That's really bad. I lost the respect of my fans and my staff. That's terrible. And now, to cap it all, you have a plan. <laughs> Somebody kill me now! No, please, come on, cheer up. I can make you great again. I can put the big boy back into Big Boy Barry. Come on, quickly. Um, put this on here. What's this, Leslie? It's the Gadget of the Week. It's a laser gun set. Pachow, 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 pachow! Right, put the headset on your noggin. Now, this light here tells us how many lives you've got left. This is reflected in this visor, and this is your target. But best of all, this is your weapon. 
Cool. So how's it work then, Les? Well, you know the laser show at the London Planetarium? Uh-huh. Nothing like that. And you know real lasers? Yeah? Nothing like that either, because they would kill you. Now, basically, it's Quasar in your own home. And it's available soon. Prepare to eat infrared, scum sucker! <laughs> You won! You won! Smoking! Ah, the feeling's great. Oh, big review time. OK, lads, what's next? Hi, Barry! <laughs> well, it's really nice to see those chubby cheeks glistening with joy. And we've got a really good review for you now. It's Urban Strike by EA on the Mega Drive. Um, you remember Urban Strike, it's the follow-up to Jungle Strike, which was the follow-up to Desert Strike. Uh, the storyline's pretty much the same. A megalomaniac has taken over the world, or is trying to, and guess what they want? They want you to fly a lovely great big helicopter and sort it all out. One of the things you can actually do on this one, which you couldn't do before, is you can move around outside your helicopter, which makes it a lot more interesting. So, Spike. Well, I mean, Jungle Strike was a big enhancement of a Desert Strike, but this one isn't really good enough compared to the one that preceded it. I mean, three sequels is pushing it a bit. I think you know, the, the ultimate environmentally friendly game, recycling the plot, recycling the music, recycling the graphics, everything's the same again. I couldn't recommend anybody to spend the money on this one, unfortunately. I mean, it's a case of three strikes and you're out, I'm afraid. Well, over to our bobble-hatted chum, Shadow. The great thing about this game is the choice you get between two choppers. Don't always go for the big one, however, because the small one packs a pretty good punch, especially if you fly it into the right places. Right, well, one thing we didn't tell you earlier is the fact that there is a megastar in this game, a true god. Yeah, it's Elvis. Oh, thank you very much. He is in Las Vegas. He's standing behind one of the gambling machines, and if you blow him up, you see him having a fiddle with his old guitar. Um, so what are we going to give this one, then? What, 85%? Yeah, well, that sounds good. Providing EA don't bring out any more strike games, this one's got an 85 Shadow. Cheers, fellas. That was top class. Ah, it's great to be back to me winning ways. And don't forget, beating me is quite an achievement. I was very nearly a contestant on the Eliminator. <laughs> Still means I'm a no good loser, then, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, get out, Leslie. I've got some packing oh. to do. Nah. Has anyone seen Barry? Well, he's in this feature I'm watching. This is the old Barry, the one who wins. Oh. This is the one where he went to the tech software for the development of the Beat the Elite Sniper's Alley game. Well, where is he? I've been waiting for hours. Yeah, stupid pirate guy. Speaks like Johnny Vaughan. Huge bandana. You know, the whole works. I mean, Hi, I'm fine. There you are, Blade. Where you been? I've been waiting for hours. Well, I've just been I've given you a good limousine or something. Nope. Got at least a sports car. Uh, After all, I've got really. a reputation to keep up, mate. Well, it's Wait. not quite a car, but it has got go faster stripes and fluffy dice. What's the matter, Blade? I thought you seafaring types would be used to a little rough water. Oh, hold on. Land ahoy! Come on, guys, let us in! There they are! There they are! Barry, I'm Fad the Artist. Nice to meet you, mate. Alas! Hello, Fad, or may I call you Gerald? Either one, that's fine with me. Look, we've got to get on with this. It's nearly lunchtime. Blake, if you just don't mind waiting here, I won't be long. See you soon, eh? Come on, let's go. As you can see so far, we've finished all the other faces and now all we've got left to do is a picture of yourself. And about time too. OK then, I'll give you some top poses. Now, how about this? Or this one? How long are you gonna be? Great, finished. Now if you want to take this over to the programmer, he'll put you in the game. Hello, how you doing? Hi, Barry, mate. How are you doing? Not bad. Here's Mr Fad's graphics, Smashing if you could just uh, do yeah, the business sure. on that. I'll just cut you out and uh, stick you right in the game, mate, all right? Excellent. Okay. Right, if you uh, just wait a while, I'll just put it on the computer to rotate your picture around. You're very clever, Paul. I saw him, mate. Yeah. Barry! Where are you? All well, I've got to do now is the sound effects, and then I can go babe hunting. Oh, Barry! Sound How's effects going? guy, how you doing? Hi there. Okay. So, what are we going to do? We're going to do some sound effects for. Sniper's yeah. alley. Firstly, what uh, we need is going to be a gunshot sound. Okay? Gunshot, like to take the microphone. no problem. Okay. Uh, stomach number two for that, I think. Okay, Ready? now we need a no, okay? No. 
That's great, okay. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okie doke. Right. It seems the uh, program has finished okay, uh, putting you in the game. If you just want to go up and collect it now, oh, okay? I'll see you later then. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, come on, Paul, is it finished? Yeah, I haven't got all night, you know? Yeah, it's all done now, mate. Yeah, we go. Well, Vi, it's good. It's damn good. It's damn, damn good. Excellent. But there have got to be a few changes. Let's concentrate on me. Loads bigger. No problem, mate. Surely it's time to go home. I have a cunning plan. Remember, I'm the star of this show. Oh, good Lord! Happened? Where's the juice gone? They'll all have to go home now. OK, I'm out of here. Keep working, Vi, and put on a happy face. Wasn't it a shame about that unexpected power failure? It certainly was, me swashbuckling sailor. One of life's little mysteries, me thinks. Ah, watch out! <laughs> I don't know, but don't fret, pet. I know Barry will pull through somehow. I just know he will. Fancy a thrashing on Mortal Kombat? You bet you'll lose a boy. But first, I'd better take my piece. Hello, my little dwellings. Let's see who needs some guidance now, shall we? Messages, please. Hi, Games Mistress. I love those Mortal Kombat 2 death moves you showed last week. I can't do any of them. Have you got any easier ones? Certainly have. Melina's Cannibal Chew is the easiest death move of the lot. Even a complete gaming dunce can do this one. Are you watching, Barry? Here goes. Hold high kick for two or three seconds, then go in close and let go. Yum, yum. Bet you can't eat three. Hi, Games Mistress. Been hit by any pugil sticks lately? <laughs> can I have a treat for NBA Jam on snares, please? I suppose so. Pugil sticks, indeed. At the tonight's matchup screen, press B seven times and then hold down up, B and Y until the match starts. Your players are now on fire for the whole game. I suppose that's it for this week. See you at the same time, same place, for the same sort of thing real soon. OK, games, mistress. Ready for the thrashing of your life? I'm ready to whip your hide. Oh, it's like Clash of the Titans. I can't watch. What's happened? Oh, it looks like the console couldn't take the intensity of our play games, mistress. Well, it was a good, fair battle. You're not so bad, Barry, you know. Yeah, well... You're not so bad yourself. Now, I don't expect you to thank me too much, but if it wasn't for me, you'd now be unemployed or working with the roly polies. Leslie, if it wasn't for you, I'd be a sad and unhappy young man. <laughs> oh, come on. Because it always gives me so much pleasure and happiness to do this. Ow! <laughs> I'm so glad everything's back to normal. <laughs> 
Now, if you do excuse me, I believe I have a public out there to go and win back. Oh, ah, I love that man. Hello, America. Live from BTV Center in London, England, it's primetime Barry. Joining our house-sized hero tonight is the game mistress. Special appearance by the Vidiators. The music tonight is from Fat Freddy and the Pasadena Washboard Quartet. Come on, let's make some noise. Here's the man with the plan, Big 